going on, everybody? How's everybody going? Hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving and whatnot and whatever y'all was into. Anyhow, today, I'm going to take you guys out to the creek. I'm going to show y'all how to find gold anywhere in the world that y'all are. If there's a creek near your house, and if it has any gold in it at all, and you use these techniques we're going to show you today, you're going to find some gold, and I guarantee it. Because when I go out, I use these techniques, and I find the gold. So, with that said, if I show y'all these techniques, y'all's going to be able to go out and find your own gold. You ain't going to get rich. Well, you might, but around here in West Virginia, you ain't going to get rich. But you will get rich as far as fun and sunshine and getting out the beautiful outdoors goes. Anyhow. Watch this here video, and if there's gold around you in any creek and anywhere, if, if there's a creek around you that's got gold in it, I guarantee you'll be able to find it. So, with that said, let's get down the creek. Them pretty mountains, by God. Yeah, boy, we're on our way now, and if, uh, if y'all ain't signed up and got your prescription here yet to my channel, I'm gonna go ahead and ask you, would you if you like what you're seeing, how about going ahead and getting your prescription here to my channel? That way you don't miss nothing. There's an old train tunnel up there. I know y'all can't see it because of the brush, but it goes way back in through that tunnel, through that mountain right there. Way old train tunnel built in the 20s. But anyhow, we'll see y'all at the creek bank. Small town America, gotta love it. And yes, I stopped for the light. <laughs> I bet y'all thought I was gonna blast right on through her, didn't you? I'm gonna go get all the gold. I'm gonna go get all the gold. I'm getting old and I'm feeling cold and I don't really care because I'm going to go find some gold. Yeah. All right, everybody. Here we are da down at the creek. Good old Honeysuckle Creek. West Virginia. Love it. Look at here. This here's our dream mat sluice. Throw it in the creek. I bought this puppy off of eBay. About $115. A year or so ago when I purchased it. Comes with everything you see right there except the black mat. I added that. Look at all this quartz. This creek's full of quartz, I'm telling you. Alright, set her up about eight degrees pitch. See that V? You got a V right here. That means that puppy is set up nice. That is good flow. That is what you want to see. beautiful all right come on guys let me go show you my hole yeah never mind let me show you where i'm digging y'all don't want to see my hole y'all just want to see where i'm digging all right guys that's my original diggings i'm gonna start working this shelf back this way a little bit now i just throw the shovel in here see all this quartz look at this when you're looking for creeks that may contain gold, this is one of your best indicators right there. Round washed quartz pebbles. Look for them. Learn to identify them. You'll see red ones that's covered in rust. Yellow ones. Right, here's a piece of iron ore. If it'll focus on it. There you go, piece of heavy hematite iron ore and you got all this quartz and this stuff that's what you want to look for if you see this kind of material in your local creeks guys you want to pan it you want to try it because quartz is a very good indicator of gold and this heavies look at these heavies 
big old piece of heavy iron ore right there. Look at that. And then you got the quartz. Oh, this is some of the tailings. Because I will shovel out of that hole. And I'll classify it down to 1 8 inch. Minus. That way all I have is stuff smaller than this mesh going through my sluice. That is removing a lot of the competition out of it. There's a little piece of petrified wood fossil. You can see the grain in it. And all the quartz. This quartz, this is the stuff you want to look for. Everybody says, well, how do I know if there's gold in my creek or in the area I'm in? You want to look for quartz. See that rusty mineralized lines in there? This is good mineralized quartz. This stuff at one time was carrying gold. And it got deposited all over the place. Here's a piece. It got deposited. That quartz did in with the sandstone. Look at that. That's called quartz conglomerate. That's conglomerate right there. That is a quartz conglomerate. You crush this stuff up. You can find gold. It's a lot of work. It's a whole lot of work. So I just let Mother Nature break these rocks down in the creek for me and deposit the gold in the heavy spots and then I'll go after it. Anyhow, that's what you're looking for. Quartz. Now when you find the quarry creek, it's got quartz. What you want to do, you want to find a good spot in the creek. See how right there it's a narrow pinch point? Right here it widens out really wide. Now when this is a flooding, that is a high pressure zone right there in that pinch point. And when it blasts and gets to here, it opens up in this little alluvial plane and lets all the heavy stuff settle out. That's why I'm working right here on the head of this beach. You can see it's covered with leaves, but this is the beginning of a large gravel bar. And we are way up here on the tip of it. And we're finding quartz and all kinds of heavies and gold. So, I got this here bucket pretty well full, but I'll show you how we classify. Let's get you some straight out of your out of your hole. See what I mean about the quartz? See all that quartz in there? It's good stuff. Let me put it right down in there. And this is an Arbor Fab classifier. Eighth inch. And all your, look at that piece of conglomerate. See the quartz stuck in it? There's gold in this stuff. That's nice and heavy too. And then you got all this stuff is overburdened. That can go out. Now you do want to check this, your tailings for arrow points or nutting stones, you know, any kind of artifacts or fossils, whatever your whatever's in your area. And you can you'll find it in the tailings at quartz. That's good stuff. Alright guys. I'm trying to show y'all how to find gold. There's a lot to it, but I'm gonna I'm trying to shovel as much as I can into this video and not make it too long and boring. Anyhow, showed you what to look for, and when you found what you're looking for, which is quartz and heavies, like this. Now, when you find what you're looking for in the creek and conglomerates, all right, when you find an area that's got all the good indicators you're looking for, find you a nice spot, either bedrock, nice head of a gravel bar, inside bends. Wherever you think you might have a hunch, they might be a little gold. Pan it out. See if there's any collar. If there is, continue to work. If there ain't, continue to look. But once you land on a spot you want to work, such as we have right here, go classifier down. We got it in the bucket. Let me show you what it looks like once it's classified down there. Right there. Nice small material. And what we'll do, we'll take this over to the sluice and we will start a runner. We'll feed that puppy. Let's do it. 
All right, y'all, here we are back down at the sluice. I've done put a couple little scoops in there. Now, as long as these cells are dancing, this sluice is working. Look at it dance. Now what this is doing, this is concentrating all your heavies. All your heavy stuff is going to get caught down in all of these little riffles. Mainly your gold. This is designed to, well just about everything except the heaviest of the heavies is going to stay in there. And you just want to feed your sluice that classified material nice and slow. Look at that. Put your scoop in and let her rest. Let her do its thing. Let the water do the work for you. This is my favorite way of gold prospecting. You ain't got no motors, you ain't got no pumps, you ain't got to bring no batteries. You ain't got nothing like that. You just got what you carry. And it's just you and the sounds of nature. And enjoy your day. It don't matter who you are. What you do is your business. And if it makes you happy, do it. It don't matter what anybody else thinks. If it makes you happy, go enrich your life and do it. Everybody has a life, but few ever really live it, you know what I mean? So, get in your car, get on a plane, go traveling, go exploring. You ain't even got to go nowhere in a lot of vehicle. Just put your damn boots on that I got on for a change instead of my chucks. Probably wearing wet boots at work tomorrow. <laughs> Shout out to my homies at work. You just keep on feeding that puppy. Nice and slow, and let the water do the work for you. See, I got a little sloppy classifying. A couple of, a couple of bigger rocks got in there. I'll pick them puppies out if they don't find their way out on their own. Anyhow, you just keep doing what I've been showing you. Finding you a spot, finding you a creek, finding you a good spot you want to try. <laughs> Once you know you're on a decent spot, you just start test panning, which I've already done. I'll show y'all, I'll go through panning once we get back to the house. I'm going to run a few more of these buckets through here. And we'll catch up with y'all, either when we're ready for a cleanup, or if anything interesting comes up. You never know, there's usually a fossil here too well I guess we've already found a little fossil so. all right anyhow I'll get right back with y'all all right guys we are on bucket number four this will be my last one my fingers has done swelled up and cold like a bunch of frozen sausages anyhow <coughs> see if y'all can see this I ain't touched it yet I ain't gonna tell y'all what's going on yet. I'll see if y'all can see it on your own. Ah, did you see it? Did you see it, puppy? Right there. Look at that. Right there. Little drill point, looks like. 
it's broken, but it's pretty neat. I've got another one of these. It's kind of neat. I don't have any whole ones. It's pretty cool, though. Look at the work on that. It's looks like a drill point. Yeah, I'll we'll put that in my pocket. That's pretty sweet. You always want to go through it, as you never know. You never know. I've found all kinds of artifacts on this creek. I'll just add one more to it, to the box. I need to get one of them little displays to put them in. Now, most of them will be broken because you're finding them down here in the creek, but heck, even a broken one's better than nothing. That's pretty sweet. It's shiny. That's cool. All right. Anyhow, we're going to run this here, the last one. Then we're going to clean up and get ready and head to the house, and I'll show you all a bit about panning. And then we'll see what we got. Just pulled her out of the creek, folks. My hands is froze up good now. They're ice cold. They're red like a bunch of sausages. Anyhow, this is what it looks like when you pull this particular sluice out. There's some of your heavies up there. That's some of that weird purple hematite sand we have here in wild, wonderful West Virginia. I don't see anything jumping out at me up there. You notice you're not seeing any nuggets in here or large flakes. That's the very reason I wear boots that leak water and my feet get wet. That's the reason I use old stuff, recycle buckets and whatnot. And but anyhow, that's why West Virginia ain't known for big nuggets. He ain't gonna get rich. So. But you are gonna get out there and you'll find a little bit of gold. If you find the right spots. Anyhow, what you do when you're done, however your sluice or device comes apart, you want to wash it off into a bucket, dump the water off of it, get everything all good and cleaned out, all the nooks and crannies. Then we're going to take it home and we will pan it out and I will see you guys back at the house. What's going on everybody? Here we are back at the house. Dumped our bucket out. This here is about a window screen size mesh classifier. Everything we brought home in the bucket I dumped in here. Check it out. It's old rusted up bent nails because I was getting right down on top of some bedrock. I was just starting to hit it. So we got into all kinds of heavies. A couple little pieces of buckshot. A little bit more quartz. Anyhow classify it down get that stuff out of there that way you don't have to pan it just like when you're sluicing you get that big competition out of the way let me show you what we got left we got about a quarter cup or so half cup I don't know if you can see the heavies yet not really we'll get the pan and see if we got any we'll get over here to the tub and pan it out this here is just a small tote you can buy over at Dollar General or wherever. Fill it up with water, a few drops of jet dry. That way your gold don't float on you. That's another reason why I painted out at the house. A lot more controlled. Anyhow, you want to slurry it up. Gold's heavy, twice as heavy as lead, so you want to get it to the very bottom of this pan. You do that by stratifying the material that's in it. It's like we are. See how it's a goal. It's in a semi-liquid state. It's just flowing with the water. That's what you want. And start tipping your pan forward. Wash some of that light stuff off there. Just like that. Take your time. We ain't no hurries. Bring it back. Restratify it. Start letting that white that light stuff go right on off there again. Nice and easy. And bring her on back. See that light stuff washing off? You can start to see the heavies showing up. Kind of heavy purple. 
lots of stuff you want to see. That means you got a lot of heavies in your pan. Get a little bit more of it off there. See how I'm just lightly letting the water take it off there? I'm not dumping it. And I'm going to bring it back. Go to these smaller riffles. See them? I'm going to do the same thing. Stratify it all down there on the bottom. And just let the water action take it right on off here. And you just keep on doing it until you get down to about a tablespoon of material left. Then we'll have a peek, see what's in there. Golden West Virginia is so small and fine. You'll never see it unless you work it down. See how we're getting that heavy, heavy purple hematite sand now. Bring it on back. Tip it, let it flow. Alright, we'll get ready to take us a peek. It's hard to do with one hand, so you'll have to forgive me. So there's a lot of material. There's a piece of gold right there. Yeah. All right. Oh, there it is. Piece of gold right there. Try to show you. So tough to do with one hand, guys. Yeah, there's some gold showing up right there. Look at there. Right there. Let me take get this tapped up, guys. I will be right back because there's some more right there. Get the shade, maybe. Yep, right there. Right dead center of your screen. Alright, I'll be right back, guys. There we go. Look at all that fine stuff. Oh, there's a nice little flake. Look at that. Holy jeez. Holy cow. Look at all that fine stuff. Alright, let me put this phone down. I'll be right back with you. Let me try to tap it up. Alright y'all, I'll try to show you in the sun. There's that little tiny flake. It's friggin' awesome. There's all that finds. Holy cow. I tell you what, this is the kind of stuff you can find if you get close to bedrock or on it. Holy jeez. I'm gonna be working it whole. It's gonna it's gonna get opened up a lot more. I'm gonna try to get this in the shade. That is not bad, guys. That is not bad. West Virginia is definitely not known for gold. And guess what? As you can tell, you can find it. All you gotta do is get out there, folks. I'm telling you. Adventure time prospecting on the gold once again. Holy cow. Four good full buckets right from deep down in that hole. That is not bad at all, guys. Alright, guys. Hopefully, after watching this video, you too will be able to go out to creeks. Find yourselves a little bit of gold anywhere in the world you are. Or if there's gold in that creek, you watch this video, pay attention, you do what I done showed you. If there's gold in that creek, you will find it. I guarantee you. Anyhow, this is James. Thank you for watching Adventure Time Prospecting. If, I earned, if you liked it and I earned your subscription, go ahead and get you on. Anyhow, we'll see you on the next one. Thank you. God bless.